Hello everyone. Uh, as 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 per norm now, uh, I know it's the second time, but it's gonna be the norm going forward. You know, when you're in Devon, guys, uh, you must uh, go past and see the elders of the place. You can't just uh, be uh, at the place and just push in and out like. Uh, you see, I'm even like I'm gonna speak a bit of Zulu today because <laughs> I'm sitting here with with the mayor of uh, 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 the mayor of. Uh, mm. Of Darwin, even even since he moved to Rumba, uh, to, uh, he feels like the the province is not too is not big enough for the both of them. <laughs> he's rattled. Once he's in, in the PSL, he's rattled. Shut the bro. Hey, this conversation is gonna sink. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna sink in the veins. We are, we are off to a flyer. So open to go and chat. <laughs> Thank you for having me again. Good yeah, to be here. yeah, the pro. You know, uh, uh, we were saying before we were recording, what, what conversation are we gonna have? But we we're like, you know, any conversation we have with you, yeah, it doesn't even need to be. Yeah, self style. Yeah, mm. you're just freestyling, uh, having a conversation. Uh, you know, you're part of Masanda on a phone vlog from from day one, mm. from day one. I remember saying this name properly. I'm like, who's this person? Mm. Thank God, thank God for Twitter, and we got to know each other better. The pro. Um, even though today uh, we didn't get to lift our title, uh, maybe by the time this thing is out, we would have lifted it, uh, mm-hmm. depending on what we do with this content. But looking at this season, uh, last time you and I sat across each other, it was. Uh, MT Net final. Yeah, and it was clinched. Mm-hmm. Uh, as we sit here now, we are in the finals of the Net Bank Cup, mm-hmm. uh, crashed out of the semi finals of the Champions League. Mm-hmm. And we definitely won the league title. Mm-hmm. Uh, with context, in terms of uh, the Champions League, if at the beginning of the season someone tells you pro, you will do a domestic sweep and you will get up to the quarterfinals of the. Um, I know I said semifinals, but I'm, I'm, I'm fixing it now. <laughs> uh, and we will get to the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Um, what would you have? Would you have taken the deal? If I gave you this deal at the beginning of the season before Bolas kick? And last time we had this conversation, it was Grand Kekana's birthday, and mm. today is nominated as a defender of the season. Mm. Mm. So um, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm happy that whenever I'm here, it, um, it's a good omen for Grand Kekana. <laughs> so he owes me some custard. <laughs> but but uh, on a serious note, um, mm. I was gonna. Um, uh, I wasn't going to be happy if you were going to tell me that we were going to exit at the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Because mm. for me, I think this was our season to win it or at least lose um, in, in the final if ever we were going to lose, but not in the quarterfinals. Wait, wait. So is this as Champions League as a standalone or when you look at our entire season in terms uh, of the domestic sweep? No, the domestic sweep um, is a given. I, I was expecting it, to be honest with you. I'm mm. saying it with all humility. Yeah. I, I was expecting a domestic sweep. I think it's long overdue. Uh, we do a domestic sweep and I think that we're going to repeat it again next season. I know I'm, I'm, I'm saying it way too too soon. Mm. And uh, uh, But for me, I think Kev Champions League um, semi-final or final was going to uh, complete and make this a perfect season for us. Mm, I like the fact that you even say you would have actually taken a Champions League exit because that's what, that's what it is in, in principle. Mm. So I hear you. Um, even Taji said the same thing. He said the domestic sweep and continentally you get to at least the semi final. But the thing about getting to a final is that if you don't win it, it, it feels like you were so close, and when else are you going to get that close? Yeah, but I mean, I mean, Kent, you, you, you can't uh, beat yourself for losing, I mean, in, in the final of the CAF Champions League. Mm. Well, I know maybe you can be disappointed for losing MT8 final, NetBank Cup final, you mm. can be disappointed and it's mm. understandable. But uh, CAF Champions League final, come, come on, if you look where you started, the preliminaries, you go to the group stages, yeah. I mean, look at our performances in the group stages. I think we were unstoppable, we were untouchable. Mm. Um, uh, last season, we had the, the very same uh, uh, form in the mm. group stages, but we crashed out in the quarterfinals again this season we show total dominance in the group stages maybe the KF Champions League needs to be just a group thing <laughs> and, then, and then it ends and then there's a trophy for and a <laughs> finishing first because really when, when, when you look at us in the group stages we are a totally different team unplayable mm. I mean you can't match us you, you, you can even play now or there I think you can still <laughs> but, but look 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 where we are now look we crashed out and you think we are beaten by a team that is not even half as good as us in terms of quality Mm. But um, at the end of the day, we're out because yeah. um, for me, I think exiting the KF Champions League was unacceptable. Uh, 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 I know that we need to accept it and move on, mm. but um, it, it, it's a pill that is hard to swallow. But um, I can say that um, 
in next season or season after we really need to improve and uh, we need to start now believing that we are a semi-final or a final team of the Cape Champions League mm. not a quarter-final team that we are known for now yeah it's, it's, you know the way I view the Champions League this thing is like it's like a tricky puzzle because sometimes you can say oh, okay um, uh, I, I know we made made it to the same season 2019 you can say after coach Pizzo left it's been quarter-finals uh, now with the co-coaches it's been two quarterfinals and then last season you can say okay we lost to a team that won it mm. the best team on the continent and a coach who knows as well and then the next season the the, the one thing that we solve is beating al Ahli. Mm. but now it's like oh okay you beat them mm. but unfortunately <laughs> you beat them at, 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 when it didn't matter the most in terms of like a knockout you beat them in a group stage so it's like you can say it was an improvement uh, uh, because you still ended up in the same spot. Um, it's a PSG store. <laughs> <laughs> it's a PSG store. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, the pro, you know, um, I, 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 I like your, 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 your view on, on this Champions League thing. And uh, for me also, it's a, it's, 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 it's a view that I, I stand with. Um, you know what, Champions League is just, it, it's, it's too, it's, it's emotional, I'm talking about this thing. We, we, don't, we, don't have to, we don't have to win it every season. We yeah. don't have to win it. But yeah. I think we need to, I mean, we, can, we, 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 can, we, we can't repeat the same grade mm -hmm. every year. I mean, we know that we are, quarter, we are, we are in the quarterfinals. Mm -hmm. Right now, we have a tag that we deserve. We are a quarterfinals team. Mm -hmm. And that's it. That's what we are. It's our reality. But we need to improve. We need to be a semi-final team. We need to be a Champions League winning team Again. every three years or every five years at <coughs> least. Oh, yes. Every no. three. It, it's possible. <coughs> it's possible. Every th we can't be a Champions League winning team every three years. We can't be a Champions League winning team every five years. I think mm. it depends on, 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 on the attitude of the technical team. It depends on the attitude of the players that we recruit. Mm. It depends on the attitude of the management and uh, looking at the budget that is that is available at our disposal. Mm. I strongly believe that we can be uh, we, we can speak the same language as Alakli as we did Casablanca when we talk about Champions League to say mm. that every three years we are always in the semis, uh, we are regular semi-final team and, and, and in every three years maybe we win it once or every five years we win it once. Mm. I think I think we deserve that with, with everything that we have, with the type of players that we have, I think we deserve to be a semi-final team. And we are long overdue for a second star now. I mean, 2016-2022 we are long mm. overdue. At least in 2001, <laughs> most people were still young. They don't remember. Some 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 people don't even remember what happened in 2001. I mean, Haruma was playing. There. I mean, <laughs> come on, we, we we had Kifka Bamba dominating that midfield, yeah. and and we were shown in the second leg in in, in Egypt that we are still young in this competition because yeah. we were at last in the second leg. Mm. Came 2016, okay, we crashed out. We came back and uh, we fought and we won the title. Mm. Now 2019 semi-final against Widat. I mean, the call that never came. Yeah. And we waited and waited. I think. I, I, I bet my nails. I think I don't know for how long, but the game never came. The call never came. Yeah. 2022. Peter Shalulile inside the box. Tambas won a penalty. Mm. The story goes on and on and on and on. A very hard pill to swallow. Still. Yeah. Um, you touched on in terms of like the budget of the team players that we sign. Let's go. We can take a look at the season now because like it's just one game to go. Mm. Looking at the beginning of this season, uh, all the signings that we made, um, it's time to take stock now mm. and say, here we did well, this was good business, this was worth it, this was not worth it. Where do you want to start? Bad or worse? Or, 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 or good? Where do you want to start? Okay, l l let's look at this. Um, let's start with the goalkeeping department. Mm. Okay. For me, I still believe that Denis Onyango is the greatest goalkeeper that we have in this country. I still believe that Dennis Onyango is, is, is one of the best goalkeepers uh, after Mark Anderson. I'm, I'm subject to correction uh, after Mark Anderson because I think that uh, Dennis Onyango can still give us um, two good seasons. Yeah. But when you look at Riyad Peterson, mm. I think he's our future. Mm. When you look at, uh, I know that Kennedy, I mean, Kennedy just got renewed again for another year, but I don't see Kennedy playing many games. I think he can play the MTN8 to win it for us and then go rest the rest of the season. <laughs> but um, when, when, when you look at um, league games, I think Red Peters should be our starter next season. So I I don't see a need for us to recruit another goalkeeper. I think record a cost. Oh, no, 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 I was talking about the players that we signed at the beginning of mm. this current season. This current season. It's about to end. Yeah. Right. We're taking stock of the players that we signed that mm. 
played in 2021 2022 right. uh, we signed uh Mm -hmm. no, no no let's start with uh, august the at august. the beginning Grant -Gan. yes uh, but you know grant was actually signed that last season but uh, even though he's signing for this season <laughs> Yeah, okay. Grant. Re refresh my memory. Yeah. It's Grant. Yeah. Uh, um, Neo Mayama. Neo. Pavosa Franco. <laughs> yeah. Um, Neo, help me out. Yeah. New Silence. Divan Lunga. Right. Mm -hmm. Kutumela. All right. With, with those five, I personally um. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not happy with Pavol. Okay. To be honest with you, um, I think Pavol could have given us more. Uh, I understand injuries and all those kind of things, but uh, uh, for me, if I were to score him as of ten, I would give him a four point five, because his season was was really clouded by injuries. Mm. Uh, yes, he scored goals um, that made us MTN eight uh, yeah, equalizer against Arrows. He scored in the um, in the Netbank Cup, but like 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 we were talking off camera, that he has not given us um, uh, uh, you know big goals, mm -hmm. and and um, that is where you needed Pavel. I think he was signed for for such occasion but he has never Especially given Champions us league. yes but he has never given us um that uh, for me in the champions league he looked like jeremy brokey in the league games mm. so you know jeremy brokey he looked like a guy that was uh, who was training alone somewhere and then he would be asked to come <laughs> and play with us uh, on match days but um with, with all that said i think kanke kana was our best signing mm. um for me i think being nominated as a defender of the season just just proves the would Grant knows what he's doing and he understands his stuff. He understands in, his business. In your 10th, 10th or 11th season, you win the league. as a professional, mm. you and you also get nominated for... For, for the first time, eh? Yeah, but you can also give it to our coaches for Grant because it's like Grant uh, has always had this ability, but it never got coached in a way... We, we must also give it to Grant as well for yeah. for, for, for taking up the challenge and, and also... Um, Changing his mentality to say I'm no longer a mid-table team player. Mm -hmm. I'm now a championship winning player and he stepped up to that level and and, and his confidence came out and he, his boldness came out and, and he became that dominant figure on the ground, on the air and he was always there and he's always been there. And for me he fitted like a like like, like a glove in the hand and, mm -hmm. and he, he, he stuck to the business and he, he got the job done. Whether he was given a right back position or a centre back position, for me Grant has always been solid. So and um, from the tax days, uh, I've been following tax super sports and the sundowns. And then tax again in the super sport. You know, he looked he, he looked like a totally different player. But for me, I need to give it to Grant more than to the coaches. I know the coaches have done work with him, <laughs> but for me, I'll give it to the man himself because he, he got the job done. And his, Never his attitude. His attitude. N yes, yes, and his attitude. Uh, so well. before you go to know my Emma, we were talking about Pavon and never giving us big goals. Okay, give us crucial goals in the in MT8 the Net Bank Cup. Grant even he, he he broke the ice against Chiefs. <laughs> he yeah. broke the ice against Chiefs yeah. and it was a, if you look at that game before we scored, Chiefs looked like they were gonna score first. If 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 Lukovic doesn't miss that chance, if Dolly gets mm -hmm. that chance proper uh, 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 Chiefs score first and sometimes it's Navy when they score first but mm -hmm. Grant broke the ice and then the game was a bit even and then we killed it off in the second half and the, then the confidence from the likes of uh, from our midfield started to show because mm -hmm. we, were, we, were, we were one goal up mm -hmm. but um, for me Grant um, I think he, he deserves an 8 out of 10 season mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. for me yeah. but I know that <laughs> some people will argue but for me for me <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Uh, for me also, uh, at one point Neo Miami looked going to Neo because you're about to touch on him. At one point Neo looked like he was going to be a signing of the season for me. But the thing is that Grant, I think, was more consistent. Neo hit a, 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 a serious patch of good form mm. at a time where he was consistently assisting and consistently scoring. And if you, you can even look at his numbers, if you had shown me those numbers before the ball was kicked and said, no, my Emma will come and contribute this, I would, I would have said, yo, he's coming in first season, mm. he's giving you good numbers. But those numbers were in, a, such a sh were in a short space of time. If you can look at the previous games that he's played, never had assists, never had goals, but his numbers still look healthy for a player that came from Bloom Celtic and has its, uh, its first season at Sundowns in a position that is very tricky because mm -hmm. at Sundowns, that 10th position, you are fighting it out with Mshishi. Mm -hmm. he's, he's taking Gaston's lunch. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Villa hasn't had game time. Mm -hmm. Villa's first season at Sundowns hasn't got a goal. Mm -hmm. It's because of Things I like remember that. he scored with his chin. Yeah. He just scored with his chin. And Villa celebrated like nobody's business. Yeah, so if, 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 if your take on, on Neville's um, 
for me, I'm sorry to make this comparison, but mm. I think Neo for me, he's like a Phil Foden type of player. Mm. Um, you give Neo the ball, he, he will do all amazing things. He will create spaces, he, he will be there when you need him, he will be in the right places. But the biggest disappointment disappointment for me is his ability to turn an ordinary situation into an extraordinary situation. Mm. Neo will get into the final third. And sometimes he show these glimpses of brilliance. He'll get into the final third and he'll, and he'll, he'll kill it. Mm. And it will be in. It happened in Angola. Last minute, that not having by that circle, I think, yeah. I think it's the one that, that, that made it difficult for us. Because mm. that was a good goal by Neo. Yeah. But you look at the goal that he scored against Arrows in the MTN 8 second leg. Mm. And then you look at some of his contributions as well. You can see that when he gets into the final third, he, he, he becomes a totally different player altogether. And I think it's, it's the lack of consistency in that that I have a problem with. Mm. That is where he differs from a player like Phil Ford. Because I think for him, uh, he knows that the, he's got a natural ability of doing magic. With the, with these guys, they they do it on a regular basis, week in and week out. You know, when he gets into the final third, he's going to take players on, he's going to pull back, balls back, he's going to get good assists, and he's going to crack it. But with Neo, he doesn't do it all the time. Mm. He doesn't do it week in and week out. So he do it today. He will do it maybe after three or four games, mm. and then and then you once he does that, you will forget all the wrong things that he has done in the previous games. That's true. And 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 he will he will go down again, and you do the same things over and over again. Sometimes he will lose balls cheaply, and you understand what he's trying to do but i just want i just wish that he can do it consistently the right things he can do them consistently because mm -hmm. once he dominates that final third i don't think we'll ever cry for Gaston ever again mm. and also what you're saying now um uh, i'm thinking of his performance in glimpses in the first half against Stellenbosch. bosch mm -hmm. you know i i know that sometimes when a player like neo or omshishi doesn't contribute in terms of assists and goals. You start to wonder what's happening with them. Uh, but a player like Spenelum Kunis, if he doesn't assist, if he doesn't score, for me, I feel like that's not his job. Um, <laughs> even though if he can chip in here and there. But with Neo, I think against Stellenbosch, I was happy with his performance in patches in the first half. He showed a, 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 a bit of hunger. Is it that, that game? I think it's one of those games. It happens. It's, it's, it's football. Also, uh, I think uh, Peter Shalilo, once he gets his uh, prize money for top goal scorer, he has to share a bit of it with me now. Because I think only five of his assists were to Peter Shalilo. <laughs> I remember the assist against Maruma Garaz. I remember the assist against Super Sport. The assist against Tess Galaxy. Like he, he's assisted him so much. Um, moving on to... But, 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 but before you move on, I would give now a 6.5 season out of 10. That's me. You don't have to. You don't have to say anything. That's me. I'm giving him a six point five season, because if if he was as consistent as I was saying, I think I think Neo would have been nominated for midfielder of the season. Mm. The only thing that that made him not to make it is inconsistency. Inconsistency. Yes. Yes. I get you. I get you. Um, we've, we've we've touched on uh, Pavol. We've touched on Grant. We've touched on Neo. Um, what do you make of Divan Lunga season? I mean, it, it's there's not much to say about it, but. He's came on clutch now when we needed him the most. Uh, I can't mention the MTN performance against Arrows. Uh, but in terms of now, uh, in the games that he's played as, uh, when he was called upon to play left centre back, would you say it's. You, you, you'd say, uh, maybe you know what, let's give him another season and see what happens? Not as a left centre back. I don't think he's comfortable as a left centre back. I think he's playing there because I mean the, the team is in the crisis. Mm. But he, he, but he that, did well. Yes, yes. But you, you know, you know, there's this thing uh, where, where where you excel because you are scared of making a mistake. Uh, you, you excel because you know very well that um, everybody's counting on you to excel in that, in that position. Mm. But for me, I don't think that he's comfortable playing as a left centre back. Mm. I, I know that a lot of people may disagree with me, but I don't think that he is comfortable. I think he, he, in a three, in a back three, then he can play as a as a left centre back, but not in a in a, in, in a pairing in a in a two centre back mm. uh, pair. Um, it, for me, I think even his thinking is thinking like a left back. Um, he, sometimes you look at him; uh, he wants to play diagonal balls. Um, I, I know that Nascimento is, is one of the few players that can play those balls perfectly, but um, he doesn't have that range. Uh, Divine Lunga. He, he also doesn't have that ability to um, to read situations 
um, uh, ten, turning I mean attacks against us into offensive play mm. uh, for us. And uh, for me, I don't think he's comfortable as a, as a left back, as a, as a mm, centre back. Yeah. I think um, maybe maybe if he can be given another season as a left centre back, maybe he may improve, and he, he may give me something to swallow. Mm. But going to your head right now, uh, Rushin is not there, Brandon Yango is not there. Mm -hmm. We only have Grant as a natural centre back, and they say you have to choose between um, Musa Lugusa and Divan Lunga right now, in the current state we are in. Who are you taking? <laughs> for one game, <laughs> not going forward, for one game, who are you choosing? I would rather lose the net than cup with Divan Lunga. <laughs> <laughs> This is such an interesting statement. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll rather lose the Red Pen Cup with Ivan Lunga than to lose it with Musa Lebusa. Because I think Musa Lebusa deserves a break. I think um, he, 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 he has played very well for us. He's a loyal um, soldier for us. Mm -hmm. I think the, the, the type of mistakes that he made um, in this season, I think, makes me say, he, he, l l let him get a break. Let him catch a breather for... Um, let, let him wait for MTN 8 next season. Maybe mm. maybe something might come out right for him. Okay. But I'll, I'll rather go with Divan Lunga against mm. Marumo Kalans. Tavisu uh, Kutumela. Prasai, disappointing season for me. I expected a lot. I think um, what he did at Marisbeck, um, uh, he showed us that he can play, he knows how to play, and he knows what to do when he gets into the right places. But with us, he became um, a totally different player. I know that a um, lot of people will use the MT8 final as his uh, shield mm. for, for, for his performances because I think he, he played very well for us in the mm. MT8 final against Cape Town City. Also, but also in the semi final against Aros, uh, he was instrumental when he came on with an equalizer. Yes, it, mm. it, was, it was one of those uh, seasons, one of those moments. But for mm. me, I think um, Tabiso Kutumela. Um, disappointed me and I'm, I'm just this is just me mm. uh, he disappointed me i don't think that he played as well as one would have loved uh, in the star started sundowns team and uh, if i were to score him i would give him a four out of ten season mm. that's a bit harsh you think so i think so i think sometimes um when i look at players like but you don't have to explain my <laughs> this is my city this is my city listen to what i'm saying um in terms of kutumela sometimes you come from a team where you know you're the focal point and um the way a team plays uh is, is playing to is playing to your powers and you know like the team is relying on me and you know sometimes when a player knows that i'm i'm the main man here mm. you, you you take on that responsibility and you you are comfortable with that team it's your team mm. but now when you come to a, play, a team like sundowns you know i mean when you're doing rondos sometimes you, you're watching the warm-ups uh, you do rondos when you're doing i mean if she calls for the ball even if you're closed you know, mm. try to pass it to Mishishi. you mm. know sometimes you have that um thing that like maybe in the first season you're playing for a team that's winning championship it's like we don't need Kutumela to win anything. Like we can win with or without him. Mm -hmm. But now uh, you are here, and you have to adapt and adjust to this team. Uh, don't you think some things like that sometimes count? And your character in a team needs to be seen. Mm -hmm. We need to see what you bring into the team. Mm -hmm. Now, if if you and I were to close our eyes now, and 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 and, and, I, and I'll ask you to give me ten things that Kutumela brings to the team, I don't think you'll get to four. I can try. You can try, but yeah. you are not giving him. You are trying. So we are, we are not in the business of trying. <laughs> we are in the business of giving out 10 things. That but you know, do. I think Kutmela gives us... Uh, this will always go back to the Mabu story in the second <laughs> season where people are saying, ah, Mabu, no longer has the goals. What else is he bringing? And we, we are always uh, talking about his pressing and whatnot. But Kutumela, like, if you look at, for example, I, I know we always go back to, go to the games where he did well. If you look at a game like Pirates, uh, the, the game we played against Pirates at Orlando, mm -hmm. uh, you know that one that element sometimes to take on players. I know Gudimel is not like a dribbler like that. There is not a Gaston and like where you expect him to uh, eliminate and whatnot. But Gudimel was giving us something in terms of that right channel for us and that uh, left channel in their defense. He was bothering the the left back and that space in between the left center back and the left back he was utilizing it well in terms of what he does off the ball and what he does on the ball as well and he freed Mshishi. Mshishi didn't even have to go to the flanks that much he operated in that zone 14 and as coach said coach uh, Rolini said that uh, this season we moved from playing a, a, a single pivot to a double pivot i think sometimes these things count against um, teams but if you look at kutumela's performances when river was there mm. they are different to kutumela's performances when river was not there 
so sometimes I'm like, <laughs> we must be a bit lenient. I, 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 get, I get that. I get that. I mean, it, it's one thing to, to give us um, pressing. I mean, you can't press for 90 minutes. Mm. Sometimes you need to show us your brilliance. Like I said, in the MTN eight against in MTN eight final against Cape Town City, mm. that that that's the that's the game that Tabiso Kutumela stood out for me because he he was pressing, he was in the right spaces, mm. he was utilizing the ball well in the final third, and, was, and and he took advantage of the the space that Mashiho was leaving behind. Exactly. Mm. So now, can you remember other games as well? Yeah, of course. Be besides the Pirates one, yeah. and I think there was one at Loftus. Yeah, obviously, it won't be more than three or four. <laughs> that, that, that's my problem now yeah. with Kutu. Kutu can give us, uh, I mean, a, a seven out of ten on a regular basis. Mm. He can do it. You know what? You're spoiled. You know why? You, you're used to players like Mshishi doing those things. You're used to players like Gaston doing those no, things. But, but Kutu I know Shalu has it. even proven that you can come at Sundowns in your first season, do well. Grant now has proved, Mabue has proved. But sometimes, you know, these players who are brilliant at mid-table teams, when they come to Sundowns, I think they are here to just be, uh, uh, you know, those players who will give you, f f I don't know, uh, you, you flashes are, of brilliance here and there. You are at Sundowns for a reason. <laughs> they scouted you. People like Kulam, they don't sleep at night. They mm. go all over the country looking for you, following you, watching your videos, watching your games. They mm. bring you to Sundown. They know exactly what you can do and mm. what you can bring to the team. Mm. Your job as a player is to deliver. Mm. The coaches are there, three of them. They are there to assist you to fit into the team, fit into the system, understand your, your role, and, and do the job. Fans are there to sing, to motivate you, to clap for you, to encourage you all the time. Your job is simple to play football. Not, not every player eh, will play that instrument that moves the crowd. So, you will play the piano. River and AJ will play the drums. It, it, players like Gutumela, they must play it, the tambourine sometimes. You know, the tambourine, you, the spotlight is never on you. <laughs> I, 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 I fully agree with you. Yeah. It, 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 even, even in a chorus, someone will sing a soprano, someone will sing a first soprano, and, and someone will lead. Ten, there's someone who leads with a lot of vibes and stuff. Uh, yeah. But we need to still feel your absence and we need to see your presence mm. in the team. We need to say we can see he is there. Mm. And we can also say we can see he is not there. Mm. Mm. But can you say the same about Kutu? No, you can't. Exactly. Yeah. That's my problem. He mm. needs to understand that he's no longer a player that, that, that plays for a mid-table team. Mm. He now plays for a championship winning team mm. and he needs to be a championship winning player and mm. he needs to have that mentality of a championship winning player. Yeah, and one, one, one performance I remember is uh, against El Marek away. Mm. I think the, if there's one game where Gudu had the chance to really mm. uh, make a mark in this team, I think it was, it was that game. it uh, semi-final. Uh, I mean, MTN final against uh, Cape Town City and the Paris match for me. <laughs> um, no, have we mentioned all the signings? The new signings? Mm. Before we go to January signings? Um, yeah. Who? Pavol? Yeah. Divine. Neo, Grand. Yeah, I think we had five. five oh, yeah. Five. Yeah. And then we can move. Yeah. Uh, are we forgetting anyone? No, don't worry, we'll edit this part out. Yeah, I think that's it. That, that was it for yeah. the ones that came to yeah. July August, didn't it? Yeah. Neo, Grand. Yes. Oh. Even, if, even if we don't talk about the volleys, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we can move to our general, general signings. And then uh, the pro, mm. we... Ma? 14 million. Oh. <laughs> and then it's alleged that in January we spent 40 M on uh, the Queen, uh, Savreda <laughs> and Enrale, Enralani. Uh, alleged. Alleged, <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, mm. what, what do you make of the business that we we, we did in January? Okay, um, with, with, with Savreda, I mean, I, I, I won't say much because mm. we have not seen him at all. Mm. I think we, we've only seen him for one game, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we saw him uh, yeah, against yeah. Al Hilal, he came on uh, in, in Rustenburg, and, like and then he played against no, he played against Baroka away, mm. and then the and then the one game, one game where he showed. Mm. A, a, a bit of what he might bring to the team is the team is the game he got he got injured in against mm. Al Marek in yeah. in Egypt. Right. Um. I I, I think I think we, we, we will forgive him and uh, yeah. I won't say much about it. Mm. But um, the thirty four year old virgin. <laughs> <Surprise> <laughs> <runner>. <laughs> 
He <laughs> called me off guard. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what I call him. Yeah, the thirty-four-year-old virgin. Mm. Um, he's. Um, I think. I think. Um, next season, mm. we are going to see a, a totally different um, Sabah Ralan. I think for me, he showed what he can do for us. Mm. I think, given the opportunity and uh, and and given. If Mshishi can still show the same energy, mm. Ralan is going to give us a lot of goals. Mm. In terms of uh, creating them, assisting them, or scoring, or, you, or everything? Everything. Ralan, Ralan is going to be um, a leading guitar man next season. Hmm. And I'm saying it on my Sandawana fan vlog. What a statement. The 34 year old virgin. We will, we will come. We will come back to to this conversation because we will definitely be in a cup final that will come this side. Mm. You know, you'll be a regular. Look, uh, look, look. That, that that man, that man given given the opportunity, mm. given time. I know that a lot of people um, w when they watched him on TV, they some some fans even had lost patience with him because mm. they felt that he was losing a lot of balls. Yes, and they felt that he wasn't tracking back as much as he should be mm. because in the Sundowns team we are so used to the kudos that track back and uh, and fight for the ball and all this kind of stuff. Mm. But for me, believe me, that man is going to give Sundowns a lot next season because mm. he because he, he he has found his footing mm. and it's going to show us what he can do. Mm. Um, when it comes to Tobo um my take on Tobo is that I feel he is the one player that hasn't really found his um, space or found um, he he hasn't gelled in and clicked as 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 quick as maybe we might have expected. Um, when I was looking at him now, I was like, you know what? Neo said something interesting to me today because he said when Dean Feman left at Supersport, mm -hmm. he was the one who was playing more as a six instead of an eight, and he thinks. He has just built up so much muscle memory playing as a six that we are not seeing it uh, because we are, we are using him more as an eight. But there are games where we've used him as a six, and um, I, I think he did well. Um, there are games where he was controlling the game so well. Even today, like the 17 odd minutes that we played today, mm -hmm. it, 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 even in, in that. Uh, uh, waterlog pitch you could see how he was just bossing that midfield um i love this performance against kukuni but holistically when i look at him and what he is bringing to this team i'm thinking i'd love to see him after pre-season mm. and starting with the team um what what's your take on the home going the home going for me is not a six um for me he will never be a six uh, you give Tebako Mokona a three-man midfield with Spelelem Kulisi or either River or AJ, mm -hmm. he will excel. Of I, I don't think that Tebako Mokona can protect any defense. Mm -hmm. he's, he's not built for that. And uh, and uh, I think we are limiting him. We are limiting his qualities when we play him as a six. Um, let him let him play that role. Let him fight for, with, with Spelelem Kulisi for an age with Lebo Maboe because that's where he belongs. I think he's a player that, we, that, that can function much 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 better in the in the final third or even um in the heart of midfield but not as a six um i do believe that he can give us more um yes i fully agree with you that he hasn't clicked he hasn't judged he hasn't not found his spot yet mm -hmm. but uh in a double pivot no but you also sorry, sorry to cut you off but you can see it he knows he's a big player the one thing i really love i'm like he doesn't look like he's lost or he doesn't look like he's bothered that he hasn't clicked. He knows he's a big player and you can see that he's confident and he is not taking him time like it took Aubrey for me. Mm. Aubrey, what you're mentioning about Gutu, Aubrey in his first season, mm. he only started shining towards the end of the season. Only now he feels like now I'm part of this team, like I'm playing with the best in the country and arguably in the, on the continent. With, with, with Debza, I, I don't even have those problems when I look at him. His body language says everything. He's not short of confidence. You can mm. see that Stan Matthews cooks them well. Mm. That is why they are ready to be saved. <laughs> <laughs> but, but look, um, Tebza Mkwena, he, he understands football. He knows what he's doing. Mm. But with all due respect, he's not a six. Mm. I think in a three-man midfield, that is where we can see him well. Because even in super sport, there was Dean Furman, Furman. It was him. It was Sidney yeah. Mbouli in the three-man midfield. And at one point, did he play with Yeah as well? You, you know, mm. he, he understands what needs to be done in the opposition half, mm. but not uh, picking balls between the centre backs, uh, playing mm. short goal kicks, and all those kind of yeah. things. That's not the home But say. even Coach Mangoba did say that he's gonna play. Was it Coach Mangoba, Coach Lord, who said he they wanna play him a bit more advanced? 
because they can see that this yeah. way belong so yeah. at least i'm not far yeah no 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 you are right on the yeah. mind but also you know um one thing i love about that double pivot um that AJ and Manis and double pivot were parents mm. proved to me that sometimes you don't really have to play with a natural six. You can play a double pivot of mm. two eights and it can still work. I, that's why I love when I, today I was looking forward to seeing him and AJ how they're gonna function because I loved seeing him and Blesser. I really wanted to see him and AJ. It was not gonna work out for us. I still say that. But when, a, when AJ is doing the dirty work, the home corner is advancing. Mm. Put AJ and somebody else um, in a double pivot, let Tebo Homokwena play uh, in an advanced role. Simple and straightforward for me. That is where we are going to see the, see the best of him. That is where we are going to see his long range. That is where we are going to understand his passing and his creativity. I think that's where he belongs. But I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be wrong on this mm. one. Don't, don't you think he can fill that role Shumpo was playing? Because Shumpo was not playing as a six. Because when he had, he had Sugar, at one point he had River, and he was doing that, what you he, just he, mentioned. He, he has the, the, uh, almost the same qualities as Shumpo. He has the same He's art, more talented. But he's more talented yes. than Shumpo. <laughs> and, uh, and he's got a better passing range than Shumpo. That's what my case is about him playing in a double pivot. Because you are not make, you're not making him do the dirty work. But, 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 but Tebo Homkwen has passed the stage. He is now a big player. You are saying mm. just now that he's a big player and, and he knows that he's a big player. So big players, they control games. Mm. So he needs to play in the opposition half more than he plays in our own half. So for me, I think Tebo Komukwena belongs to the opposition half. That is where we want him to be and that is where we need him to, 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 to excel. Give him jersey number eight now, right now. Why not? <laughs> what, what are we waiting for? <laughs> Give him jersey number eight right now. <laughs> and and, and Shampo himself must deliver it to him. Uh, of course. Yeah. Of course. He, he must do it himself. <laughs> Can yeah. wherever you are, bring that chase. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a player, um, one of my uh, 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 um, interesting points about this season is the players that we have out on loan. Uh, and I say this thinking of Mkize um, uh, 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 um, at uh, Chiba. Mm. I say this looking at what Luvuyo Pewa has mm -hmm. done at Amatax this season. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, you have Kelezo at Swallows, you have Grand Magaman at Swallows. Mm -hmm. Of the players that we took out on loan, who are the players that you would want back in the team? And who are the players that you would say, take them back on loan or release them? One, um, I still believe that uh, Machado Bodhi is still our player out on loan. I still believe that. Uh, but I'm, I'm subject to correction. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we, we need uh, Majare Body as cover for Hulis or at right back. Because I don't want to see Tabelo at right back ever again. That's an interesting point. You, you want to elaborate on that? I, I watched um, Harold playing for Tax. Mm -hmm followed all his games. I mm. think he missed one game where he was suspended. Yeah, uh, the, the game against... Uh, no, it was, it was the game against the Royal AM. Royal AM. Yeah, against Royal AM, he was suspended. But in all the games that he played, what a solid player. Mm. But he's been played in a big three now, in the left center back. Yeah, but mm. um, he can excel at right back. And I ex kept on, I think he played right back. Yes, he did. A at times, he, they played him as an eight. Yes. But for me, I think that he needs to come back and play and, and, and play as a cover for Holy Somodawa right back. Okay. I think that is where um, he belongs. Mm -hmm. I think I think he still has space in the team because mm -hmm. I want to see more of Tabelo in an advanced role. Okay. Then you can play Tabelo if you want to play back three. Then you play in his right wing back if mm -hmm. or, or if um, you feel that you need um, his speed. Yeah. But I do believe that when it comes to uh, I, uh, I mean cleanliness and marking tackling uh, uh, um, uh, the ability to play from the back into into midfield position you know, you know he has a, a, a very good passing range but you see this yeah, balls why, why am i mentioning <laughs> if I, that. I feel that and um, that boy needs to come back yes. I, I i understand it's gonna be difficult for mm. spam kids because um there is this uh double home corner issue that we were just talking about mm. in that midfield position but um aj is not getting any younger uh, river injury prone and uh, you, you look at how at times we struggled in that midfield position when whenever AJ was losing his energy mm. um, and, and or whenever he was getting too excited in the game sometimes mm. you lose focus in those in, the, in those type of situations mm. and uh, maybe maybe as but but it doesn't serve him any good to come and play as a backup player yeah um, fourth in the picking order I don't think it's good because there's still a George Manulega as well that is being 
prepared for that role whether George is back next season or not that's a story for another day mm. but uh, for me I'll, I'll leave out pay out and uh, on loan uh, let him play for another season because mm. um, it would be a waste of time to bring him back and uh, and let him sit on the stands uh, Keleto, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know with Keleto because he didn't play much at Swallows. Uh, the games that he played under um, uh, Truta and under Simo Dada, he showed that he can do something. Mm -hmm. But uh, when those two coaches left, um, we never saw uh, Keleto play. Yeah. Uh, or maybe let me say, I never saw Keleto play. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't think that he, he deserves to, to, to come back at this point. I think he still needs to find himself. Maybe if he can go to Tats or something, maybe he can get opportunity to play. But uh, or a DSCV Premiership team like Richard Spey, I think he can get an opportunity there. And um, who else is out on loan? Luvio Pewa. Luvio Pewa. It's a difficult one. It's a difficult one because I don't see Luvio Pewa playing in, in that Sundowns team, to be honest with you. Um, you look at um, Ralani, you look at. Uh, Kutumela, you look at uh, Neo Mayema, I don't see Luvuyo benching those three players. But I think Luvuyo would probably be fighting it out with uh, Hash. Uh, I don't see Luvuyo benching Hash. No, no, I'm not saying mm. him starting ahead of him. I'm just saying he would be competing with that sort of player. I don't think he would be competing with that, that's Ralani not, and uh, that, that's not That's not competition. <laughs> that, that's not competition. <laughs> Let, let's be honest. But, if, but he's, a, he's a Sundowns player, technically. So yeah, yeah. Uh, that's just how it is. Yeah, yeah. When you look at his profile, his profile is he, the position that he would be playing is as an eight. Yeah, but mm. uh, but but I, I I've seen him at Tux playing with Makubu up front and playing mm. with um, uh, Sibanyu up front. Let me tell you, the Tux story is a different story. Uh, uh, okay, the Tux story is a different story. Okay, uh, <laughs> right. because you know why? Mm. Because they, they play a lot with second balls. Uh, mm. uh, um, uh, but also, this is my opinion, and it's, it's been uh, you, you, a you, topic on Twitter. You, you remember, you remember uh, Bongani at um, Of course, uh, attacks. attacks. Bongani played as a right winger and behind Maminia. Behind Maminia. Mm. So that's what Luvio is doing at Tux. Yes. And uh, I don't think that Luvio can do the same thing at Sundowns. The thing with me, with Luvio, with his profile, I think with how we play and how the coaches, um, how they use the profile of Luvuyo. I think Luvuyo would be seen as, let's say, we say Luvuyo is back, mm. pre-season. He would be back, mm. depending on is he staying or is he going. Mm. In pre-season, he would, he would be used in that eight role where you have to initiate process. You have to, what Mabuya does, what Domingo does, so now that's where it's like your quality has to show. We, we still have uh, uh, okay. We have Maboya, we mm. have Mokwena, we have George Malulega in that role. We have Domingo, we have Mkulisi. We have Zavreda. Then, then, mm. then you want to put Lovia Pewa in that situation? Mm. You don't like the boy. <laughs> ah, but the, like but the thing is, the bro. Here's my thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, my thing is, look, at the end of the day, Lovia is a Sundance employee. Yeah, but but so where I'm saying that like, with his profile. The profile that we have, whether he's up there or down there in the picking order, that's where he is. If they say in this in, in this organization, in this position you have so and so, in this position you have so and so, in this position you have so and so, that's just where you are. So that's why I was saying, who from the ones that are on loan would you love back? Who must they, must stay there? I'll take I'll I'll take Lovio Pewa out on loan again to a DSCV Premiership team, not okay. to a Great Africa Championship team. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and and I'll look at Maris Bay United. Mm. Uh, I'll look at Amazulu. I'll look at Richards Bay. Mm. Uh, I'll look at Golden Arrows because those are the teams that I think he, he's, he, he can fit perfectly in. Also, another thing: sometimes when a player is loaned in his hometown, mm. it, it, it makes things easier mm. because he's closer to family and exactly. So, there's, there's, you've, there's the levels of stress like go down a bit and he can focus on yeah, his brother and daughter. And, and, and also he, 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 can, he can deal with his anxiety better because mm. if you take him to, to, to Cape Town, to Stellenbosch for example, yeah. um, he's far away from home, yes. he's far away from his friends mm. and uh, the only thing that you're giving him is football and yeah. he has to start a new culture and learn, mm. learn a new language, uh, start building new friends. By the time he settles in his uh, personal space, mm. um, the games are gone in the league That's and he, he has not done much. So for me, um, a Golden Arrows, Amazulu, Richards Bay may look at the power situation and say maybe they can they can give Amazulu just lost to Stebe now and I think they can do something with the with the Lugu I agree with you there. You know, I was thinking saying 
if you look at our team, the only <laughs> it's such a a, a, a a funny thing to say. The only natural six who's mm. also not really a natural six, River, mm. doesn't have competition as a six mm. and as a CDM or never will if never hates when I say CDM when I mention River. Mm. But I think it's to simplify it for my own point. Mm. I, I know we can put it in those uh, 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 languages, mm. but when you look at a holding midfielder or a six, we only have River, because uh, even AJ is not really a natural defensive midfield. So that's what I was thinking, if you bring a player like Nkize, uh, he, uh, there wouldn't be much in the, you'd have him and River, because you can't really say Vala is a natural <laughs> six, AJ is not a natural six, George is not a natural six, I think he's the one person who would find healthy competition for River. Because River really doesn't have competition, guys. But um, yeah, I, I, feel, I agree with you. Mm. I, 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 I agree with you. I can take spare at any given time. And, uh, and, uh, but my, my, my biggest concern is kilometers, his mileage. Um, I don't think that he has, he, he has earned enough mileage at cheaper. Mm. I think fighting relegation uh, with cheaper might have taken a, a lot um, psychologically from him. But I know that the environment at Sundance is different and mm. it might demand more from him as a, as a, as a player. And I know that um, the kind of setup that was cheap. I, I know that he was playing with Siabi sometimes. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes he was playing with uh, with, with Unglizo, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And uh, it, it, it's a totally different setup. And you bring him to, to, to compete with River and yet to play with AJ, mm -hmm. a very demanding AJ. Yeah? Very. A very, very demanding AJ. And that might uh, work on the player's psychological aspect as well. Mm -hmm. So I, 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 can, I can accept, I can accept taking his payback. But mm -hmm. for me, um, if, I, if I was giving the powers uh, of loaning out a player, I was gonna give him another crack um, uh, to a DSTV Premiership team, maybe to a super, maybe, 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 maybe to a Super Sports United. Mm. That, that, that's that's a, that's a higher level than what uh, Chipa is giving because uh -huh. now he will be a top eight player. Yeah, he, he won't be fighting relegation, but he will be a top eight player and he's playing for a team that always fights for top eight. So the mentality is different in Super Sports United. So he will be building up to go for a mm -hmm. championship winning team. But for me, I love that boy so much to see him break down and sundown. So I think he. he Personally, I'll give him to a super sports United. But I think that boy has a future at Sundance. He does. He does. He can take over from AJ at any given time. But yeah. I don't think the next season is the time. It's the time. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. We, we've said a lot. We've said a lot. Um, but one more thing I would love to get out of you. Um, read the season for this team. <sighs> okay. Um, domestic only. Yeah. No, 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 the, the whole season, everything, <laughs> everything, uh, not domestic. You, you know, there, there's, there's, there's that one pass that spoils everything when yeah. you think about it. But um, it's a seven and a half out of ten season. Mm. Even with the domestic sweep? It's a seven and a half. I, I think that, that other part is the one that, that, that takes um, a two sure. that stops it from being a 9.5. Mm. Mm. I think the fact that we, we did not um, reach 70 points, mm -hmm. for me it counts. Okay. Um, hey Mariah, the standard is high now, right? Yeah, <laughs> it counts that we did not get into that level. Um, it counts that uh, we did not manage our injuries um, from a technical team perspective. Mm. Uh, I mean, to, to have a left back playing as a centre back, I think it counts against us. Uh, mm. It counts against our planning, it counts against our recruitment. Mm. Uh, it counts against the way we manage injuries um, from a medical team perspective. So uh, a seven and a half, I think, um, it's some. It, it, it's a score that um, I'm not willing to back down on. Yeah. Um, interesting point you just touched on in terms of uh, managing our injuries and also managing our medical team. Um, the interesting part is that you know um, when we won the last domestic travel. Um, you know the story of Coach Biz always said, last five games, mm. we can go five for five. Mm -hmm. It is not something that it just comes out of nowhere. It's something that we did. 2018-19, we had to win the uh, last five games. 2019-20, we had to win the last five games. Even the, that one, before the, the two seasons we fought with Pirates, mm -hmm. the one we fought to fight Chiefs uh, um, of our title. The last push was always stronger. Mm. But this previous season and this new season, we, we look flat and it, it bothers me going into a final um it looks flat what do you make of that here's an interesting observation you look at manchester city i'm sorry to make an example of a, a foreign team you look at manchester city 
you look at Kevin De Bruyne. Kevin De Bruyne will give you first eight games, ten out of ten, mm. and then he will go down. Mm. He will come back in the last eight games again, mm. and he'll give you another ten out of ten. Mm. Hence, today he's a player of the season. Oh, yeah. You look at Timbers one. First ten games, first eight games, he gives you nine out of ten, ten out of ten. True. And 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 the last games of the season again, but in during the season, in the mid season, Timbers one is nowhere to be seen. Um, he's not contributing assists the way that uh, you'd like him to. He's mm. not giving you performances the way that you'd like him to. And I think he's three away from reaching double figures in assists this season. But 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 that tem- Timbers one that I'm talking about. Mm disappears in the mid during mid season mm. but he, he will come back again when it matters the most yeah but you you look at him this season and you say okay fine he's giving you um he's close to double figures as you are saying mm. but are you happy with his performances no. you, you see what i'm talking about because mm. for me i do believe that um what, what we have done we have managed the league at the beginning mm-hmm when we know that our key players are losing form then the new Mahimas of this world they they came out they carried the team Mm -hmm. now they've run out of steam Mm -hmm. Tembazwane still trying to catch it um to catch his form Mm -hmm. but is nowhere near his form Mm -hmm. we are i think i think the game today saved us from a lot of a lot of issues because we are going to struggle in that pitch because Timbers one again when uh, when we played the Real AM in the semi final he did not have a good game mm. if you are being honest and we are going to a cup final again this is a player that we we, we need to see his best ability in the cup final mm. and he has not yet shown uh, what, what he can take us to another level mm. yeah, yeah so he, he he has not given us what we want mm. and for me that's that's a, that's a big concern mm. uh, uh, I, I I would say such players these are big players that we need to carry us to another level and they are not giving us what we desire to 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 finish off teams or to finish off a season the way that we've been doing previously so i i, I truly believe that um uh, uh, we we drop the ball somewhere mm-hmm. somehow maybe the way we've started the past two seasons i mean the season and the season before mm-hmm. has the, maybe made some of the players to be complacent when it comes to performances mm-hmm. Yeah, no, the pro. Um, but I'm happy to be wrong. <laughs> I'm happy to be wrong. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied. Uh, the biggest thing for me here was to get an overall uh, thought on this this current season, and uh, I think you've you've nailed it. Um, the idea here was to get your thoughts over everything else. But I still, just I still want to talk about the goalkeeping position. Oh, is it? Yeah. Can we save it for maybe? We'll, we'll, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it uh, when. Uh, Hopefully after, after, after the final. Net, net yes. Yeah, after after the final. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I, I really want us to talk about the goalkeeping situation. That's a guess. Thank you. Sure.